Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Monday, May 2nd, Daily Devotion. A new week, a new month, um, and a new scripture for the day. Now, today's scripture is a little longer than usual. I usually try to keep it at five verses, but this one I think is really important. So it is Exodus chapter 18, verses 13 through 23. The next day, Moses took his seat to serve as a judge for the people, as they stood around him from morning till evening. When his father-in-law saw that Moses was doing what saw that Moses was doing for the people, he said, "What is this you are doing for the people? Why do you alone sit as a judge while all these people stand around you from morning until evening?" Moses answered him, "Because the people come to seek God's will." Whenever they have a dispute, it is brought to me, and I decide between the parties and inform them of God's decree, decrees and instructions. Moses' father-in-law replied, What you are doing is not good. You, are these people, you and these people who come to you will only wear yourselves out. The work is too heavy for you. You cannot handle it alone. Listen now to me, and I will give you some advice and may God be with you. You must be the people's representative before God and bring their disputes to him. Teach them this decree, his decrees and instructions and show them the way they are to live and how they are to behave. But select, select capable men and women from all the people, men and women who fear God, trustworthy men and women who hate dishonest gains, and appoint them as officials over hundreds or thousands, hundreds, fifties, and tens. Have them serve as judges for the people at all times, but have them bring every difficult case to you, simple cases they can decide themselves. That will make your load lighter, because they will share it with you. If you do this, and God so commands, you will be able to stand a strain, and all the people will go home satisfied. So why is this important? Uh, because this is the human condition. Most of us, from time to time, if not all the time, fall into the, the same issues that Moses did, which is we overwork ourselves. We think the whole world is in our hands. That if we don't do it, it's not going to get done that if we don't do it, the right path is not going to unfold. And so we work from morning until evening without a break, without help. I love the way that uh, Moses' father-in-law talks about this. He says, in, in short, he's like, you're going to wear yourself out. It's not good. What you're doing is not good. Every person needs rest. Every person needs a deep breath. And the thing is, God puts people in our paths to help us in our walk. I love the Presbyterian form of government. Uh, one of the reasons is because it's not all about one person. In our structure of government, it's not just about the pastor. It's also about the elders and the committees that do 90% of the work here at the church, or even taking care of our people. It's not just about the minister taking care of the people, because we have our deacons who also do pastoral care for people. We share the load, which means not only does it mean I'm not working from morning until night every day of my life, um, and missing out on my family and missing out on, on anything like that. It also means we get to use the tools of other people. When we think it is all on our shoulders, we're being selfish. Because God is giving great gifts to other people as well. God is giving gifts of, of, uh, to each individual. And God wants them to use those gifts just as much as God wants you to use your gift or me to use my gifts. So we do need to do our job. We need to do um, what we are called to do. 
but we're also supposed to delegate. I mean, this that could be, I, I wish this uh, in the Bible, this was called Moses delegates, because that's really what it comes down to. Moses' life was happier because he set up the elders. He was able to continue on in his ministry because of it, and he didn't get burnt out. <laughs> he had enough energy to deal with the people of God when they do stupid things. We have to do that too. We have to find ways of being responsible for who we are and for what we're called to do, but also to delegate to people who have just as many gifts as we do. And sometimes that is really hard because it's almost always easier to do it ourselves. But that doesn't mean it's going to get done as well. And it doesn't, and it means that it's, we are taking opportunities away from other people. And we're going to burn ourselves out. So let us today follow Moses' uh, father-in-law's words and do what we need to do, do what we're called to do, but to also delegate out the stuff that others can do just as well, if not better than us. Well, let's pray. Holy Lord, I thank you for this morning and for May and a new beginning to a new month. We ask that you be with us and that you help us have the wisdom that we need to do the things we need to do, but then also to delegate to the, the stuff that others can do just as well. Lord, we ask that you watch over us, that you walk with us, and that you be with us. This holy Lord, we ask in your name. Amen.